Hello everybody, this is Stefan Scott, and this is my fourth time of trying to do this. Um, yeah, I keep not recording my mic track, which is awesome. Anyway, check it out. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Baby's kids! Yeah, it's it's totally sweet. It's totally baby's kids. Um, okay. A couple things. We can play as LaShawn or Kyle. These names are probably the single best thing about the game. I'll play as LaShawn, because she's clearly hardcore. Um, I'm gonna do two things at once here. I'm gonna give you a bit of an introduction to the concept of what the hell baby's kids is while showing you how much of a bitch the game would be to play if you didn't have the manual and know what you could do. Now note that that intro scene tells you nothing about what's going on. She says, please observe the rules, and she points to that board. Note that board, it's about to show up in-game. First of all, look at it, right, right, right there in the background, it says, rules, no vibes, no beavis, no beavis, no vibes, no beavis, no beavis. No vibes, no beavis, no beep. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop now. But honestly, what the fuck does that mean? And they couldn't even be bothered to type that over and over again. The same damn letters are capitalized, whether it's the word beavis or vibes, which, if you didn't notice, are just an anagrams of each other. Okay, now, one little thing to take a look at is um, I can punch or kick and jump, and crouch. Yeah, it's sweet. Note that none of it seems to have much of an effect on anybody, buddy, though. I mean, how many times have I punched these guys already? Okay, so for a little bit of background, Babe Bebe's Kids was originally part of some guy's um, stand-up comedy routine. I can't think of his name. Um, if someone actually cares, you, you can ask me, and I will look it up. Or you can look it up and post a comment, and I will give you points. I'll be like, you get points, and it'll, it'll be awesome. Anyway, um, it was part of a stand-up comedy routine, then Paramount bought the, the rights to it. Yeah, I finally killed a guy. Only took like a minute and a half. Paramount finally bought the rights to it and made it into a movie. Baby Bay's Kids. This movie, um, well, it, it wasn't that great. It was a lot better than this game, game, though. Um, interesting note, it was, like, the first movie ever, or at least the first animated movie ever targeted specifically to an African-American audience, which is cool. I'm not arguing that by any means. What I have an issue with is that no one at the studio really understood the movie or knew how the fuck to handle it. When they came up with the tagline for it, the tagline for it is, It's animation. No fucking shit it's animation. It's, it's a cartoon. Of course it's animation. So I have no idea, and this is in the 90s, so it's before CG, or at least before much C CG, so it's not like they were trying to say, like, this is, like, traditional animation, it's not CG. No, no, they're just sharing that it's animation. If I wasn't so... I could say pressed for time, but really it's just la lazy. Um, I would cut in part of the trailer for it here, and if you get a chance to hear it, go for it. It's funny. No. Oh, no. Now we got it's animation. The guy speaking it um, doesn't seem to realize that it's animation is the full tagline, so he's like, "Baby's kids." It's animation! And then, like, he pauses to say something else, and, and there's nothing, and the trailer just stops. It's funny. Anyway, as you can see, despite my beating the shit out of these guys as much as possible, I only have 30 seconds left. And I don't seem to be nearing the end of the level. And I've done all this shit. Um, let's even try the L and R button. Let's see, do they do anything else? No, they do shit. Let's try L plus jump. Not, not a whole lot. Oh, there we go. 
Let's try R plus jump. Oh, R plus jump doesn't do anything. Let's try just L plus jump. Oh no, no, it doesn't do anything either. How about select? Nothing. How about start? Oh, it brings up a pause screen that says chillin'? Oh, that's, that, that's awesome. Oh, okay. So what else could it be? Oh, I'm out of time. Well, at least this screen's really cool. Ready? Ready? Oh, some guy's holding us. Unsupervised minors are prohibited from engaging in unauthorized leisure activities. Allow me to escort you to a more suitable attraction. Huh? What? What the hell does that mean? I wonder where he's going to uh, escort us to. Oh, it's the beginning of the level, which is basically where we were. This does seem a lot more suitable. So thank you. Anyway, I've been holding out on you. I know it, how to actually play. So, um, let's do that. Hey, yo! Hey, nice kids! Okay, you hold L and R at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Hold L and R while pressing X or Y to upper... To execute the uppercut, which does a lot of damage. Here's ice cream, which I can eat. Um, hold... No, I don't, I don't have to hold anything to do that. Okay, it's to use item. There's also a, uh, spin kick, um, like that, yeah, it's a little, it's, I think it's the same power, or a little more powerful, but the uppercut has less steps, and I don't need the spin kick right now, because everyone's at ground level, so I will be saving that for a rainy day. As far as throwing objects, again, we have to hold L and R, and this time, oh, I forgot about that move, that move's sweet. Anyway, I have to hold L and R and press B, which is the jump button. So I can't just hold down L and R the whole game, which would otherwise be really useful. I don't remember how to even do that sweet sum somersault, but it sure is cool. I wish I remembered how to do that. I did it a second ago. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. I don't need it for anything. Anyway, um, we're almost to the end of the level now. This basketball, check it out, oh it's, here we go, I get four of these baby babies, oh yeah, die bastard, okay, they, those are just fun, anyway, I'm getting bored, real bored, wait, is this the end of the level, it is, let's go for it, Okay, now we've completed the level, we're all so happy. Wonder what the next level's gonna be like. Is it gonna be another beat em up? Specifically the worst beat em up ever made? Oh, first first we get a cutscene. Shit, this must really bring in the story. Where'd Pee Wee go? I ain't saying Jack. Wow, that advanced the story a lot. Now we're going to chill for a second while I put in a save state. Because I'm just going to illustrate something here and then cut the video. Um, when you first walk in here, you have kind of a WTF mo mo moment. The falling shit hurts you. Okay, I got that part down. What's going on here? There's Pee Wee. Can I go up to him and grab him and stop him? No. No, I can't. Can I climb these? No. Can I beat the shit out of this guy? You'd hope so, but no. Maybe this is just a diversion. I wonder where the full level is. No. This is the entirety of level 2. So what the fuck is going on? Well, you gotta punch the shit before the guy gets to it. If it breaks on the floor, it doesn't count. But if you break it, you get a point. And it subtracts up top there. However, if he catches them, it adds back up on your counter. This is significantly harder than it sounds, because you're not on the same plane as that guy is, so he automatically gets first dibbed on grabbing it. It's really dumb, and I can do it, and I, I will have to next, next video, but um, it's not fun. It's really not. Like, there is whoever thought that this 
idea for a level like shit this will be really fun have a girl run around and chase falling glass shit and kick it yes let me tell you falling glass shit really really gets me going you know what i mean okay so anyway until next time i'm stefan scott this game sucks balls and is called babe baby's kids chillin